Hello everyone. Yes, I'm making a video after a long while. In fact, it has been, I think, roughly two days. No, two days, two weeks. So I'm making a video after two weeks. I did make one video last week, but I was uh, actually not uh, in the right mood. It was not really a problem for me to make videos. It was more about, uh, I just wanted to take a break. I think we all should take a break uh, from time to time. But I'm back and uh, I'm back to making my usual daily videos. So today I was looking at this question on the community from Alisa and the question is actually very simple but not many people know about it, not many people actually know how to do it because I do this quite a lot for her, my clients because I work with my clients where I help them and uh, I try to make sure that they're able to get the most out of uh, Jira, Jira software and especially when people are using uh, Jira software they want to follow Scrum and when they follow Scrum, they try to, of course, uh, follow sprints and in a sprint, you want to commit the work that you want to do. For example, you commit to deliver, let us say, 10 stories. Now, when you commit to deliver 10 stories or 20 stories, you do it based on some estimation and usually estimation is done using story points if you're trying to follow Agile properly. But it is okay if you're even if you're not following Agile. Even then, you can still follow uh, normal time estimates. So in Jira, we have a field called original time estimate, original estimate field, which can be used. Now, the board configurations or the estimation that is done on your board can be set to use that particular field or in fact, any number field. Now, that is the question from Elisa. How do we change it from story point to our estimates? And I will, of course, show you. So if you go to any Jira instance, which you can of course uh, set up very easily. I always recommend to have your own Jira instance where you can play. And because nowadays everything is so easy because it is on cloud, you can do it very quickly. Just go to classroom.com or .net, whatever, and sign up for a free Jira cloud instance. Now in this particular board, I'm of course looking at this backlog. Now we do have this estimation, which is right now using original time estimates. And this is, of course, the number which is also shown on top. Now, if, if I click on, let us say, one of the bug or maybe one of the story, let us say story, for example, we have the option to, of course, uh, update uh, for this story, the um, field, which is our original time estimate, original estimate. So we can actually change it to maybe four days, whatever, right? And at the same time, uh, we of course may have the normal, not normal, but story points field, which is of course uh, something that you may want to use or maybe you're already using. So we have this story point three here, but we also have the original time estimate as four days, which is also displayed now here on the backlog view. Now, all the reports will now be based on this particular uh, um, number, which is uh, original time estimate. If you, if you click on the burn down, I mean, you anyways have the option to change it on the report as well, I guess. If I remember correctly, if I go back to my burn down chart on my project, I should be able to see the burn down of my sprint or my previous sprints. And then of course, uh, the burn down will show you the report based on this particular original, original time estimate field, which of course you can change here to story points for a specific uh, sprint. Now, good thing is Jira can uh, or the board will let you to change this uh, to any other field or number field especially. So let us use story points here and if we go back to the project or the board, let us go to the backlog view very quickly and take a look at the, 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 the numbers that are displayed here which is now going to show you not the original hours, but uh, original time estimate, but the story points, which is wonderful. So you can change. And also the reports and reports anyways, especially the burn down chart, I will anyway show you the information based on uh, uh, basically either story point or uh, original estimate field, but you should basically see everywhere in your board, by default, the estimation will be done based on that particular uh, field, either story point or uh, the original time estimate field 
or in this case because the default configuration says that okay use story points that is what it is now selected here so a very simple configuration but uh, if you are a scrum master or a project manager if you are trying to follow your own uh, project your own scrum team then you should know how to do it in jira and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much bye bye